science is a way of knowing. So what I want to know is how uh, or if ocean acidification is going to affect marine organisms, especially corals. I wanted to know how stony corals and the coral reef they build will fare as our carbon dioxide emissions continue to drive down the pH of ocean surface water. To answer this question, I had to dive deep into the biology of corals and soon realize how little is actually known about how they make their calcium carbonate skeletons. Corals are small animals, called polyps, that live together in a colony. Each polyp has all the structures an animal needs to survive. They can eat, grow, and reproduce. The polyps also build a communal skeleton. Why corals? Well, corals have this calcium carbonate skeleton. It's like limestone. It's basically like a rock. This ability to secrete calcium carbonate is vital to coral biology and the construction of coral reefs. Corals have two types of tissue, an outer layer called the epidermis and an inner layer called the gastrodermis. Specialized epidermal cells at the base of the polyp, called the calicoblastic layer, build the matrix of calcium carbonate and protein that forms the skeleton. The calicoblastic cells require both calcium and carbonate ions to build the skeleton, but the details are still a mystery, including what form of carbon they use and where they get it. The novel thing about my lab is that we're using techniques previously used for medical research to study coral. One exciting discovery is that corals can regulate the acidity of fluids in and around their tissue. They may decrease acidity to enhance skeleton building by the calicoblastic cells, or increase acidity to promote photosynthesis by symbiotic algae in their gastrodermal cells. This kind of local control may help corals continue to build their skeletons, even in the face of ocean acidification. But at the same time, corrosive seawater may eat away at the exposed foundations of reefs. The survival of coral reefs in the future will depend on whether reef building can keep pace with reef erosion. The good news is that many scientists around the world are working to understand coral biology, ranging from their cellular biology to their ecology to potential human impacts, including ocean acidification. At the same time, we can all help keep corals healthy by reducing carbon dioxide emissions, as well as other stressors such as pollution and overfishing.